Oh, what's going on, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. You're gonna get the dark side, the angry side of Jake in today's video because I have, um, I would say a lack of faith in this seemingly dead esports organization now being accused of further fraud. If you guys don't remember many months back, look at how I looked, by the way, when we broke this story many months ago. That being around notorious and well-noted name in the Dota scene, a Dota organization known as Newbie, who was exposed for having an entire team in on a match-fixing scandal, and thus then afterwards permanently banned from the esport. It was a giant story. Oftentimes when it comes time for that side or that region of news out there, people don't really give it too many of eyes, at least when we cover it here. Understandably so, a different demographic in a different market, but it was a gigantic story nonetheless, of which is now being followed up on by further scummy actions by a scummy organization, which I feel pretty confident in saying, I must say accusations though, of a seemingly organization who is already gone and out of esports entirely, following said match-fixing scandal, now to the Fortnite scene, potentially taking over $100,000 from a variety of players from their former Fortnite organization organization or roster as well. And I don't have too much doubt about these accusations brought to light by a Fortnite coach on his Ridax on Twitter as well. I'll try and link his thread below for all of you guys where he says his sources, one of which is very close to the organization and their players, has now come out and talked about their former World Cup qualifiers and how this organization has scammed now a variety of kids of a range of a figure over $100,000 in prize earnings, which given their history, of being a scummy organization, yeah, I'd say there has to be some credibility to said accusations. And in case you guys were unaware, when it comes time for the Fortnite World Cup, any qualifier actually was guaranteed $50,000 in prize money. <laughs> That's how big of a prize pool the event it was. Even if you got dead last just for qualifying, you were going to come away with $50,000. They had two said qualifiers, that being X-Mendy and that being XXM. According to said sources, it is apparently the organization who took their prize earnings because of the contracts they were in and, and didn't ever give them those prize earnings. Taking 100k from those two players accordingly as well to Ridax and the source known as another player of Wen Kian. He too had $10,000 taken by the organization in those screenshots on screen for all of you guys. Also translated by Ridax. He's talking about how he lost out on a $10,000 but the org is already gone and with his money being stolen, what use is there really as if he'd get it back anyway. In this other screenshot which is supposedly a close source to these players then revealing that both XX XM or nor X Mendy got their World Cup prize money at all, saying it's all been swallowed up by the organization and they cannot even beat them in a lawsuit. It's a pretty terrible circumstance for what seems to be a terrible organization who has not been active ever since their permanent ban from the Dota scene, uh, given an entire team being exposed, supposedly, of match fixing, which is a, a huge scandal in itself. Now supposedly stealing six figures from what is a very, very young Fortnite scene. These were teenagers that they took this money from. And yeah, I don't know what kind of salaries or other earnings they made while inside the organization, but certainly 100% split of prize money going to the org and not the players, that is pretty much unheard of. It's a constant reminder out there for players and up and coming pros and creators out there, or even, you know, content creators of any sort, check your contracts, review your contracts. It seems that we have seen this time and time again, and there is no winning. When it comes time for the players, I was going to have a video about Red Reserve. I've talked about them so much. A former player of Red Reserve coming out. I think it was actually raided from Call of Duty to remind everyone that organization had stolen $100,000 from him just a couple days ago. Thanks to George from Dot Esports. You know, he was talking about Epsilon Esports and all of the players that they owe money to that they will never get because of these, these contracts they signed into. And of course, the strenuous and sometimes expensive lawsuits it even takes to actually try and counter and get that money in the those earnings back it's a terrible terrible time and I want this to be remembered maybe a future video uh, out there as well newbie a scummy organization ruined and put to death because of their scummy actions and those actions continue to be called out this time from the Fortnite scene accused of stealing over six figures from teenagers it's just crazy Drink your water, drink your coffee. I'll be back here all day long guys I am one day away from my short vacation I cannot wait but we got a lot of videos to put out first, huh? Enjoy yourselves. Take care. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.